in the gospel of today we will hear about the call of Simon Peter one of the first disciples of Jesus Jesus is sitting in a boat and the boat belongs to Simon because the crowd is gathered on the shore and from the boat Jesus is teaching them from the boat he is proclaiming the good news from the boat he is telling them that God loves unconditionally they have to do nothing to earn God's love they have to do nothing to merit God's love all they have to do if they have to do something is open their hearts open their minds open every fiber of their being to accept that love this is the core of his proclamation this is the core of his teaching and that is why he combines this with reaching out and healing those who came to him and even as he sits in simon's boat Simon realizes that he has caught no fish and Jesus looks around him and there is no fish in the boat. And so Jesus suggests to Simon, the expert fisherman, to do something which Simon listens to. Cast your net, Jesus says, on the right side. And Simon casts his net, listening to Jesus, following his instructions. And there is a miraculous catch. Simon is so stunned, Simon is so taken aback that he realizes that he is in the presence of God. And that's why the only response which any one of us can give and which Simon gives in the gospel of today when he says to Jesus, depart from me Lord for I am a sinful person. None of us is worthy to stand before God. None of us is worthy to raise our heads above to God. It is because God is so loving, so kind, so gentle, so forgiving that we can dare to raise. Simon realizes that he is in the presence of Jesus who is Lord and that is why the only response to God is humility is a bowed head jesus however in his beautiful gesture of humility says to simon no you can raise your head up to me no you can look at me because i am going to invite you to join me in my mission my mission it's not for me alone, but to anyone who wants to join me. And my mission is first to proclaim to people all over the world and to whatever faith they belong to, that God loves unconditionally, that God is a God of mercy, that God is a God of forgiveness, that God is a God of unconditional love who keeps no record at all. And this proclamation, these words have to be shown in action in our concern for others. When I reach out by loving gesture, when I reach out by loving word, when I reach out by loving touch, when I reach out by enhancing action, no matter which religion I belong to, I am proclaiming God's kingdom, God's mercy, and God's unconditional love. Will you, through one word and one action today, proclaim the good news that God loves?